All right, Micah, let's see what we got here. And Bill. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. Oh, boy. You boys got this. Shit. Well, guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. Take it easy. You could do with a vacation. Hmm? <coughs> I think I'm going to end up killing him at some point. All right, let's go. Whoa! Have fun, boys. Marcus says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Oh, great. This Let's is gonna not be good. So, what were you talking about before? Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Oh. Oh, lordy. Okay. Let's hold up here. Easy. So, the wagon will be coming from that way. Down from Annisburg. We'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking... You go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <laughs> I got that. Easy, dum-dum. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. <laughs> oh, lordy. Move you, Ignit. Come on, let's get you out of. <laughs> ah, come on.
Woo! Got him. God damn it. Ah, just a hat. Where? Come on. There you go. Damn it. You need to take them out, Arthur. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm trying, I'm trying. Shoot them on there before they blow us to high hell. Got him. Uh, some of this. Here come more of them. We need to deal with this. We're leading them right back to camp. What do you think I'm doing? Oh. Yeah, going back to camp with this right away was probably not the best idea, but don't reckon I'm cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. This make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. But it should to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with the moment. Look, there's Micah up ahead. Great. Whoa. So, you got it? Seems like it. Yes, we got it. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah, whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Oh, boy. There's one person I don't want to trust. That a guy. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I Goodbye, am. dear Come friend. On. Okay. Let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Oh boy. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so, 
Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him on to the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves in this, in this. Oh, God. As Bobby's. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about oh, boy. us. Mrs. Adler. Might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Comb hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament. Wolf as I in sheep's clothing. <laughs> my husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Cone. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Martha. Don't we all? You two quit it. Y'all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. All right. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love <laughs> an execution? Yes, they do. Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh. Here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my, my decisions stuck, or yours. We can't lose them. Here He's cutting in now. Comb O'Driscoll's going to get his due. Up Let's go follow it. Let's go. Quiet. What's it look like? A bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof, overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there, onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. All right. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. 
Let's go up here. Oh, that's not good. Is this a setup of some kind? Your boss is gonna swing. You're skinnier than I thought you'd be. For as long as any of us can remember, it is justice that well, separates cool. us from Barbara. There goes your escape plan. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. Oh, little Comey Comb. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your Don't sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Swing, baby, swing. Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have <laughs> mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Make sure he's really dead. <laughs> Flogging, flogging. And of course, I'm left there. Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. Is he dead? Little Johnny. 
Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. The bridge to nowhere. Had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels And why are we smoking cigarettes no, beside you're dynamite? Stringing us along, I know. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. Hey, it would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> it's got bad idea written all over it. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, all right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right, let me know when you're ready. <clears throat> Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. That's the spot, lower it from there. <clears throat> okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. All right, something tells me I'm going to have to re-up for the second one. Let's go, nice and slowly. Start lowering it, Arthur. Nice and easy. Got it. All right, come down here and help me play this. Jesus stuff. Christ. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Right here. Pick it up, let's go, let's go. Oh, it's a box of if, of infinity bundles. Okay. I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down yes, here? Yes, sir. Sure. Go on. I, can I got this. 
I see you up there. This better work. Well, you did the wiring, so I'm hoping it works. Don't jump. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Shit! I think I hear something coming, Arthur! Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Get on it! Pump this stupid thing! As hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! It's right on us! Come on! Faster. I can't go in I couldn't go any faster! Is that our train or thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Whew. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. All right, let's go, Chief John. Let's blow the sucker up. Um I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Let's look at this baby go. Woo! Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon... You gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. <laughs> and Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Oh? Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I, I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah.
You don't sound very awesome. well. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. <laughs> Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. God damn it. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. But there is not. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men. I never could equate it with victory. Mm -hmm. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily led. We saw that. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. Oh boy. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. All a right. place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in San Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. All right, all right. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, the aiming at the beginning is a bit, uh, is a bit. Uh, see, what's left of that bridge over there? It's a bit hard sometimes. I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! No! Yeah! Good. There was no need to harm them. Ooh. Yeah, the aiming, you have to use a lot of dead eye. At the beginning, the de your dead eye is not that good, but. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But 
don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, we don't know each other too well, but I wanted to speak to you about your son. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your fr Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. Do I go down, or am I gonna die, or... Okay, well, I didn't want to fall down here. Do you need me to come with you, or you're fine? Oh, you're going way down there. This is what I was looking for. English mace. So you saw that all the way from over there? Okay. Let's continue on. I'm just... So, what were you talking about before? Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. Okay. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation, and this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Really? Don't talk about him much. Oh, really, though? No, oh, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this. God damn it. Weather. I'm talking about serious shit here. Uh no coconut. What are you doing? This will combine well. Coconut. Okay, I guess I can't brush okay, my horse. Hey girl. Come on, Chief. in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. Alright, let's go. It's not much further now. Now, I was saying, I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed them. God damn it. Shot them dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. Hmm. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. 
This situation we're in. Me, Dutch, and the others. I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Doom, 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 doom. What was I doing? He's making a deal. Uh, who's making a deal? Dutch? No, isn't the Dutch's not making a deal? We're just actually we're fucking everything up, pretty much. Oh, what are you doing? It's just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be. Oh, I passed here earlier. No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Oh. Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. The fuck's a Chinupa? Of course. What is it? Uh, a ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. Whiskey bottle. Who would do such a thing? Whiskey. <laughs> Bastards are having a party up here. It's ruined. Army flask. There's some whiskey here. I see no end to any here. of this. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all <laughs> that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. What the hell is a Chinupa? Another army flask. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. I'm gonna take this moonshine. Someone down there. Do you have any binoculars? What it, uh, of him oh, trying to help his people? Are. Yeah, because nah, I don't want to ruin it for brave you. Men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. 
Now they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna well, I know. get your chin up, but no one will be. I don't. Don't watch. say anything. I uh, I have some clue what happens at the end. I'm pr I'm almost there. Well, you I'm probably gonna finish it tomorrow. I'm hoping tomorrow. I uh, don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. Please see if they have our sacred item. I'm going to the camp. So you what you what what's the theory you want to tell me you you want to tell me what, well here just just say it just say it. I'll listen I'll listen <laughs> Oh shite Yeah Oh, I will, don't worry. Why the fuck did you... Why the fuck you not killing them? Okay, I don't think I was supposed to kill them, but... That's not what I wanted to do, but... Alright, let's pick it up. Should have grabbed my horse. Probably sure. I'm. I'm pretty sure I. Uh, I was supposed to do this without killing anybody, but. Oh well. Man, I am getting tired. Definitely gonna be the last mission before we head, head out for today. Oh, please don't die, Arthur. Hey, you didn't see any of that, right? Here, 
I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. <laughs> I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. All right. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. And I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. 